Welcome to the channel. It's the Jerry Shreyway. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got a trailer number two for Bullet Train. One of my first reactions was to the first trailer a few months ago. I've done a lot more since then, but I was a little sour on it. I thought it looked fun, but it was just a bunch of cameos splashed all over the screen. Even if that's so, I will still probably enjoy it. Brad Pitt does no wrong to me. He's the coolest of the cool. He took the James Dean torch and ran with it. And I eat up everything Brad Pitt does. I'm so happy he won an Oscar for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it's cool to see him lead such a big ensemble like this. I mean, he's no stranger to it. He can do it very well. He can lead almost anything. And the guy has comedic chops. He does comedy well. I mean, ever since Inglorious Bastards, when he said Bongiorno, that's one of my favorite moments from the Quentin Tarantino movie. Brad Pitt, whenever they let him have no restrictions, he just can run with it. And he can freestyle as an actor so well. And being directed by the Deadpool guys, I'm sure it's going to be bonkers and obnoxious. I'm excited to see that. We're about to see what it's all about. Let's dive into Bullet Train, trailer number two. Beat you up. Right on schedule. The teaser for the teaser. We love that. Deer Creek International Business Solutions. How can I help you? I am ready. Well, that's great, Ladybug. Ladybug? Your new operational name. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha. You don't have bad luck. Really? My bad luck is biblical. I'm not even trying to kill people and someone dies. I remember the suicidal bellboy. You drove him to the hospital. Hang in there, buddy! <laughs> okay. Dwayne. Very Deadpool yeah. already. Johannesburg. It's time for some change. Do you want it simple for your first job back? And Sandra Bullock. We finally get to see her. We need to find a person who took that case. That's too easy. Shit. What? Remember those two wackos from the Bolivia job? The twins? Yeah, I'm not so sure they're twins. <laughs> yeah, they're oh, not. The no! You stab me? I will never stop coming for you. What? Yeah! I missed my stop. Something else going on here. Hi. You don't remember me. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Really? You don't remember me? I love that accent. <laughs> oh, whoops. Eat a bag of dicks, lady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm working on it. Get off at the next stop. I told y'all he's so funny. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Zazzy you beats. Like your I said yes. Ah, shit balls. You're going to want to hear the whole story. We're waiting for us in Kyoto. The white death with his army of assassins. There's this soulless psychotic leader with the largest criminal organization. Michael on the Shannon. Right inside. Of I don't see the white death letting any of us off this train. We need to come up with a plan. I'm gonna hurt people. What's happening to your face? Maybe there was a little head trauma. Maybe. I gotta get off this train. Wow. Sorry, buddy. I love this. <laughs> Who's in there? Is it Bad Bunny? <laughs> Exclusively <laughs> movie theaters. I'm on board. That looks incredibly silly, and them leaning into more of the silly, self-aware stuff this time around in the second trailer just worked better for me. Uh, it's really cool, though. We got to dig deeper and peel back more of the actors that are popping up in there. Brian Tyree Henry, Paperboy, and then Zazie Beetz, both from Atlanta, uh, having a reunion. But they're both, they look like they're, I don't know if they'll meet in the movie, but it's still cool to see them edited together. Brian Tyree Henry and Aaron Taylor Johnson teaming together, that seems like the oddest pair of all time. And they're, I mean, they're just going to be goons for, I'm guessing, Michael Shannon. They're his little, uh, his runners, but it's, it's so awesome. It's so cool because I respect both those guys on such different paths of their like acting careers they, they've both been in so many different projects and those are two of my favorite current actors brad pitt commanding the screen as always i'm sure he's going to steal every scene i mean he's leading the, the movie and it seems like he's kind of in a point in his career where he is helping other talent open up and trying to bring the best out of other actors i mean once upon a time in hollywood that scene with austin butler at the end when he was one of the charles manson members uh that that scene was iconic, and now uh, now Austin Butler is Elvis, so I feel like 
Brad Pitt's enjoying working with the younger talent and some of the new generation, and he's probably doing that with this movie, but he's also gonna eat up every scene he's in. It's Brad Pitt, and he, he looks amazing. He looks electric in it. I can't wait to see him directed more than just a cameo getting zapped from a, a power line like he was in Deadpool 2 as um, the, the Vanisher, that's what it was. I can't wait to see what this director can do next. It's David Leach, I believe is his name. And he's really good at action and fight scene choreography. We didn't see a whole lot of the fighting in this trailer, but I'm sure he's gonna have a few spectacle fight hand-to-hand -hand scenes because he specializes in that. I'm guessing there's a few different mob bosses that have what Brad Pitt's trying to get. Uh, Michael Shannon and then the actor that plays Scorpion, they look like they're gonna be like the head honchos, the final bosses. I don't know which one will be the final boss between the two. It's kind of a toss up right now. But I'm kind of expecting a twist where Sandra Bullock is the villain. It just seems like she's like in the shadows too much throughout the trailer. You don't see her in any of the scenes other than talking to Brad Pitt. I mean, I could do a freeze frame and maybe pick out Easter eggs. But I have a feeling she's going to double cross him at the end and she's working with Michael Shannon probably, something like that. I'm a big fan of the director, all the cast. It all looks fun to me. And it's Sony. I mean, they just gave us Morbius. Morbin time is because of them. I hope this movie doesn't get mocked like Morbius, but we will be watching our eye out for you, Sony, because we're going to get El Mirto. That is going to get shat on when that movie starts marketing. And, I mean, they got Bad Bunny in here, so he's already in connects with Sony. So, all I got to say is, what the fuck? That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's the Jay Stray Way. Like and subscribe. Comment. Let me know who's the actor you're most looking forward to seeing in this movie. Because there's a long list of them. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time.